Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video into the iOS 10 development course. In this video, we're going to be talking about playgrounds. Without any further ado, let's get started. So we're going to open up Xcode. And we've been starting off with projects before. And in this video, we're going to start off with playground. It says explore newer ideas quickly and easily. Let's open that up and see what that does. All right, so it's telling us to choose the new option, uh, the new name for the playground. Let's just call it my playground for now. And hit next. Find a place to save it. This seems like a nice place to be at. All right, let's stretch it out so we can see what's going on. So right now on the top it says running and launching all of the stuff. Playground is basically something that tells us that gives us live feedback of our code. So we don't have to run the simulator every time we want to see what our code does. And in general, if you see, this is the main area where we write our code. Hopefully you guys are familiar with all the information that's written on the screen right now. On the right here is where you see the immediate response to whatever the code you've written. And any kind of variables and stuff that you declare here, the results are going to be given right up here. And the results in, in terms of saving it in the memory. So whenever you save any kind of variable in the memory, you'll see it actually happening right here. And the actual result of the code that you want the computer to do would be given right underneath here. All right, let's see how it will look like once the launching is done. All right, so everything is ready. Now, as you guys can see, once we have set the variable called str, which has the value of a string in it called hello world, I'm um, sorry, hello playground, we can see the value being stored right here. And the actual result should appear here. The result is basically nothing. Let's just print the result. So print str. Now we're going to see the result of this code right here underneath. And as you, if you guys notice, this print, when it's saved into the memory, has the backslash n appended at the end. The reason behind this is the fact that it automatically generates a new line. So if we were to print it again, instead of printing it right next to it in the same line, it's going to print it in the next line underneath it. Alrighty, so that's basically all the information that you need to know about the playground where you can see the actual reality of your code happening and as soon as you write the code you'll see the actual results right here right and from the next video onwards we're going to get into variables and a whole bunch of different things so stay tuned for that